डोमिनेंट एपिस्टासिस एपिस्टैटिक जीन दैट एग्जेल्ट द इफेक्ट वेन दैट जीन इज प्रेजेंट इन अ डोमिनेंट फॉर्म द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द डोमिनेंट एपिस्टासिस इज द फ्रूट कलर इन समर स्क्वेश हेयर वी कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द डोमिनेंट एपिस्टासिस इन केस ऑफ डोमिनेंट एपिस्टासिस देर इज अ जीन दैट इज फॉर द येलो कलर इन द समर स्क्वेश देर इज अ जीन that is for the green color this is for the yellow color this gene is for the green color while there is an other gene that can inhibits the either color if that gene is present in the dominant form it can inhibits the green color as well as the yellow color uh, while if the gene is in recessive form W is in case of recessive then this gene do not have any effect on the color of the summer squash because this is example of the dominant epistasis in case of dominant epistasis a gene uh, the allele should have in a dominant form when that is in dominant form like here if it has dominant form then it has effects or it can block the color in the summer squash here we can see that uh, compound a is present in this uh, in this uh, summer squash while uh, if another gene that is in a dominant form if that gene is not in dominant form then the, this color can be converted into green while if this gene is in the dominant form then this white color will not be converted into the green same is in case of compound b which is present in green summer squash if there is the dominant allele of this gene then it can be converted into the yellow color otherwise this green color will not be converted into the yellow color so in case of dominant epistasis there are two different genes one gene is for the yellow color while the second gene is for the green color but there is a third gene that gene if that gene is in a dominant form then the color will be converted while if the gene is not in the dominant form it is in a recessive form then the enzyme will not be able to convert from white into green and later on green into the yellow color fruit color in summer squash in case of dominant epistasis we see the ratios that are exactly like the independent assortment the law which was proposed by the griger mendel the ratio was like the independent assortment 9 3 3 and 1 there is an other example of duplicate dominant epistasis can that can also be seen in the fruit shape in the shefford purse in case of fruit shape in shefford purse Uh, the ratio is uh, exactly like 9331 so we can say or we can conclude that dominant epistasis is such a epistasis when there is a gene and that gene has a dominant allele if that gene contains a dominant allele then that have effect on other uh, genes if that gene have a recessive alleles then that gene do not have the effect on other phenotypes so this is example of the uh, dominant epistasis